Welcome to AEDT 1120 Foundations of Digital Teaching and Learning Technologies. My name is Roland Van Osvein. I'm a professor in the Faculty of Education at UOIT. Along with the course teaching assistant, Katie Flynn, I will be facilitating this course about the history and development of teaching and learning technologies. The emphasis in this course will be heavily weighted towards the learning side of the equation. Uh, I am making a deliberate distinction between the definitions of teaching and learning and as a consequence of the emphasis on learning over teaching, a change in attitude and understanding regarding the status of knowledge and the processes of knowledge acquisition is required to employ technologies that will support the creation of new understandings or learning. In this initial video clip or vid clip, I will review much of the content of the course outline or syllabus that you will find posted to the Blackboard space reserved for this course. As aids to spur discussion, I've incorporated analysis and synthesis questions into the structure of each vid clip. The analysis questions found at the beginning of the vid clip are designed to help engage with the information contained in the vid clip. The synthesis questions found at the end of the vid clip are designed to make you reflect on your perceptions regarding the information in the vid clip and to assist you in starting to apply the new understandings that you are developing um, to additional concepts and contexts. Uh, for the analysis questions, then, you are expected to reflect on the ideas um, that are, are questioned in the, the analysis questions themselves and discuss your thoughts with others in your tutorial group and in the Knowledge Former WebKF View Week 1. So the first question, then, is according to the vid clip, video clip, what is the underlying theme of this course? Second question, besides those listed, what do you see as other possible outcomes from the course? Number three, what are some of the reasons behind the structure of the course activities? And number four, what type of resources can you use to complete the activities and tasks? Where can you find these resources? The remainder of this video clip references the course outline, which can be found in the Blackboard portion of this course. The purpose of this course, then, is to establish the technologies that underlie digital teaching and learning. Students will examine the history of computing, the technological underpinnings of digital technologies, for example, binary numbers, ASCII codes, programming concepts, early uses of computing in support of learning, and computer-assisted instruction. Potential topics include, but are not limited to, the impact of major technological developments on digital learning technologies, for example, transistors and miniaturization, or cathode ray tubes, CRT displays, uh, pointing devices, external memory devices, and high-speed communications. Specifically then, by the end of this course, students will have demonstrated the ability to identify major developments in the history of computing, including both hardware developments and social changes. Secondly, describe the ways in which early computing served learning and teaching needs to describe the technical basis for modern computing, to analyze and explain the ways in which technological changes have created new affordances for teaching and learning, and identify and employ teaching methodologies and create learning opportunities as appropriate for adult education settings and contexts. All course activities will be designed in a manner that will allow for access with a wide range of mobile devices such as smartphones and tablets like iPads, Galaxy Tab, etc. Therefore favoring the development of a truly mobile learning culture anywhere, anytime. This 36 hour three credit course will be articulated in 12 modules each including uh, one hour of video clip based lecture broken down into two or three 12 to 15 minute uh, long segments. The video clips are written by a content expert um, and uh, they will subsequently be produced and installed on YouTube where they'll be publicly available. Secondly, one hour of synchronous group tutorial activities in Adobe Connect. The video conferencing sessions in Connect will be planned in detail by the professor in collaboration with the Teaching and Learning Office, and the tutorial activities in the session will be primarily facilitated by the teaching assistant. By scheduling different groups at different times of the day and of the week, the program will um, be able to accommodate students from a wide variety of time zones. Please see the hardware software requirements which need to be met in order to enjoy a smooth um, experience within the video conferencing environment. And finally, 
The final elements of each module will include one hour devoted to online activities such as forum discussions, uh, self-directed learning activities, etc. as specified in the course calendar um, using a wide variety of online resources. Although this covers the basic three-hour commitment to the course sessions, it should be noted that additional reading or other course coursework will be expected from the students. While the Blackboard course site will be the sole official website for this course, other environments will be explored, used, and analyzed. The links for each of these will be posted on the Blackboard site as we progress. All course assignments will be, are listed in the course syllabus along with their due dates. You will be working collaboratively with a group of three or four students on many of these uh, assignments. This group will be self-regulated in that each member of the group will be responsible for participating in the group work. And as some of the assignments are graded on the basis of projects presented by the group, it is up to the group to determine how to proceed and then ensure that the work is completed within the required time frame. Some assistance will be available from the course TA and instructor early on in the course, but this assistance will decrease over time. Specifically then, you will be expected to 1. View all video clips, reviewing all analysis and synthesis questions and doing all readings, as well as participating in tutorial sessions using audio and video on a weekly basis. Um, secondly, you will be posting in WebKF Knowledge Forum um, on a weekly basis as well. The URL for this discussion board is given in Blackboard. Thirdly, you will construct and knowledge, uh, your knowledge using online PBL scenarios, including participation in online collaborative tasks arising from the scenarios. For example, you might make use of Google Docs, Twitter, and other technologies as decided by the group itself. Fourthly, you'll collaborate in the design and production of a video that analyzes a technological device or application. And fifthly, you'll participate in self and peer assessments using a variety of rubrics. The major resources to be used for this course are internet-based, that is, they are available using an internet connection. Some of these, such as WebKF and Blackboard, are restricted by licensing agreements. Others, however, are freely accessible through services like Google Docs, YouTube, or Twitter. It's expected that all students in this course will use these resources, however, they may use them in different ways. Some will be required as part of the coursework, however, most programs will be optional and may be used according to the needs of individuals and groups. The following non-existent list describes some of the resources and how they could be used. So text-based materials and websites could be used for information gathering and filtering. Um, sites such as Twitter, Knowledge Forum, um, Instant Messaging, IM such as MSN uh, Messenger, uh, Skype, Adobe Connect, etc. can be used for not only uh, information gathering and filtering, but also for communication between students, TA and instructor, and also for knowledge building. Prezi um, could be used for information presentation to others. CMAP, which is a graphical organization of information and uh, ideas, could be used as uh, an information presentation tool for others. YouTube is an information presentation tool for others, and you can also comment on the vid clips themselves. It's expected that students will continue to develop intellectual independence or autonomy throughout this course. In other words, don't wait to be told what tool to use or what to do. Be adventurous and get started on your own. Read the remainder of the course syllabus. It's your responsibility and it's posted, uh, as I've said earlier, in uh, the Blackboard website. Um, and the course expectations are stated uh, in, in this document as well. Um, to take a look then at the assignments and activities uh, throughout the course, you'll be involved in the following activities and tasks. And uh, the final grade percentages are given in this overview as well. They are also posted into the course outline. Uh, in, web, in Blackboard as well. Um, so the first uh, type of activity is ongoing posting in WebKF views. This is usually done on an individual basis and you will be posting reflective WebKF discussion entries, a minimum of two posts of your own and one build on. We'll talk about all of this. Uh, uh, a build on is a response to um, a, a peers um, post and uh, you're going to be using the scaffolded prompts included in the WebKF use at least to begin with and then of course you'll be weaned off of those uh, as we go throughout the course as well. Uh, 
These posts will be assessed using Knowledge Form WebKF participation rubric that is found in the course syllabus. Secondly, you'll be involved in PBL scenarios. There are three of them in this course. The PBL scenarios are major learning activities in this course. The initial scenario will be done individually with the remaining two scenarios that will be tackled in groups of three or four. Each group should work collaboratively, negotiating all understandings and documenting all work in WebKF. Scenarios B and C will culminate in presentations that will occur during the tutorial sessions using the following schedule. So scenario B, the presentations will be uh, held during the week of October the 8th. In scenario C, presentations will be scheduled with your TA for either week 11 or week 12, and you'll be doing those presentations independently, uh, individually. Immediately following your presentation for both Scenario B and C, you will be expected to upload a copy of the presentation file or a URL link, um, and a completed individual PBL assessment rubric and collaboration assessment rubric to the ass assignment tool in Blackboard. Scenario B and C will also make use of peer assessment, and accordingly you may be asked to complete a PBL assessment rubric for one or more of the presentations that you attend. These will also need to be passed on to the TA through Blackboard email. Uh, the third type of assessment is the major culminating task, which is broken up into four um, sequential tasks that build on each other. So task one is uh, device application choice and rationale document. And in a group established in the PBL scenario activities, um, you will build a 350 word document, uh, one page essentially, choosing a technological device or application and give the group rationale for the choice. Subtask 2, storyboard document in your group. You will create a storyboard for the final video. The storyboard using a timeline view should outline all the graphical elements linked to a basic description of the accompanying text that will be used in your video. Subtask 3, the draft script document. And in your groups again, you will create a script for your video. The script must be completed with a description of all of the audio components using a timeline view utilized in your video. And subtask four, the creation and posting of your final video. And still within your group, then you will create a 10 to 15 minute video and provide the finalized script complete with APA references, analyzing techno technological device and or application. You will upload your completed video to YouTube and post it there as a private video um, there is a 15 minute maximum um, that is allowed by YouTube. Uh, you cannot go beyond this, so you must ensure that you are under that limit. Um, post the link to the video, the finalized script, and your completed individual culminating task um, video rubric to the assignment tool in Blackboard. There is normally a, to, um, a theory section to these video clips, but that is not available for this video clip and that moves us on to the synthesis questions. The first synthesis question for this video clip is discuss the potential benefits to your education that should arise from participating in this course. The second um, is which course outcomes are of more importance to you primarily and why. And number three, how are the course tasks, activities and resources tied to the outcomes? And question number four, how is the course tied together? In other words, how is it made cohesive, cohesive and why was this structure chosen? So that brings us to the end of the synthesis questions and the end of the video clip for session one.